I wanted to kind of bring property tax into the modern era because I was tired of spending 45 minutes a case doing the same thing over and over again and actually not even getting the best results that we could get because uh, the appraisal districts have all this data and I had like, you know, five browser tabs open and I was realizing that there was data that the appraisal districts had that they weren't even showing on their websites that was very important to protests. Really? So, yeah. So we got into like open records requests and started digging into that. One thing led to another and I realized that I had to like learn to code to really um, compete with the appraisal district's technology. And we develop algorithms to score comps and decide what's the best evidence to use in a property tax protest, what evidence is gonna hurt us in a case, so that wow. we're aware of that before we go in there. Because before I was doing this, we would we would kind of do it on like a, like we would use CMAs, like you see with Realtors use. Right, like CMA, competitive, comparative market analysis. Right, yeah. right. And that's a great tool for a realtor to use mm -hmm. as like a launching pad into a deeper analysis that they verbally go over with their clients. But if you just provide a CMA to an appraisal district, you're lacking the context of, well, this comp here is good because it has a pool and we have a pool. And you know, you really just can't use price per square foot. And in fact, um, appraisal districts, when they get CMAs, they just kind of wad it up and throw it in the trash. And they'll just enter in the comps wow. into their system and they apply all these adjustments to it. And then your whole argument's blown up because you're off by $50,000 in the adjusted value because you're not seeing the, the comp the same way the appraisal district is.